And a very good Tuesday to you, racing fans. Welcome once again to Television Games on TVG. I'm Rich Perloff on the desk in Los Angeles, California. We've got four hours together, you and I, to do our usual business. We'll have racing from Parks, Mahoning Valley, Will Rogers Downs, Sunland Park, just a little bit later on. Oh, there, there goes my, my mystery. We're spilling the beans right off the bat here. Uh, a special guest will join us on the line, and that is mystery writer Sasser Hill, whose novel, Flamingo Road is one of the three finalists for the 2017 Dr. Tony Ryan Book Award. So if you are a fan of mystery novels, if you are a fan of literature based around horse racing themes, you'll want to check this out because that book has got it all going on. Sasser Hill knows what she's talking about when she writes about the world of thoroughbred horse racing, and we'll chat with her a little bit about Flamingo Road. Parks, Mahoning Valley, Will Rogers Downs, Turf Paradise starting up just about the time I depart the premises, but plenty of time for our conversation today. Welcome back to Television Games, the, the Tuesday edition. I'm Rich Perloff, and as promised, we got a special guest on the line right now. The Dr. Tony Ryan Book Award annually recognizes the, the best book with a thoroughbred industry background, and we are joined now by one of the three finalists for the 2017 award, that is mystery writer Sasser Hill. Sasser, uh, welcome to Television Games. Thanks for giving us a couple minutes of your time this afternoon where you are. Hey, Rich, I'm delighted to do it, and um, you can have all the minutes of my time that you want. Okay, all right. Well, let, let's jump right in. Now, the Dr. Tony Ryan Award is something that you are familiar with. You've been a nominee before, but as yeah. I understand it, this is the first time in the history of this uh, particular award that all three of the finalists are fiction writers. That's correct. It's usually the um, nonfiction stories, you know, like a story perhaps about a great racehorse like Sarah uh, Secretariat. And your novel, Flamingo Road, is the, the novel that is under consideration for the award. We're looking right now at a photo of the cover of both Flamingo Road and the follow-up, The Dark Side of Town, but F Flamingo Road is the one that's nominated. Yes, correct. That's the first in the new Fia McKee series. It's a two-book series. Um, and The Dark Side of Town, which comes out next week, um, takes place at Saratoga, whereas Flamingo Road, um, that story takes place at um, Gulfstream Park. Okay. What, now, one of the things that I particularly enjoyed about Flamingo Road, which I have, I have completed and I'm on my way through the dark side of town, one of the things that I found really compelling, Sasser, is that your, your knowledge of how racing works not only the, the, the betting and what happens in the grandstand, but particularly what happens on the backside and around the barn area, you clearly know whereof you write. So tell us a little bit about your background in racing. Well, I was a small time owner, um, so I spent a lot of time helping my trainer, um, whose name was Barry Wiseman, around the barn um, to keep expenses down. And I did some hot walking myself and um, certainly on the farm, my own farm, where I, I bred and raised horses, I, I mucked all the stalls. We did everything. Um, I would, you know, breed the mares, pull the babies out of mom in the middle of the night, break the yearlings, raise them, uh, get them to the track, and then go up to the track and see them. I mean, it was a great life. It was a lot of fun. And But I learned so much because I did it from every possible angle, from breaking, breeding, um, you know, getting the tongue tie on, helping with bandages, you know, just all of it. So, yeah, I, I do know of, of what I'm talking about. You mentioned briefly the protagonist of Flamingo Road and the dark side of town, your, your heroine. Her name is Fia McKee. McKee, yeah. She, and I, I found her such a compelling central character because, and, and we talked about this the other day, her, her instincts are great. She's a, a Baltimore cop. Uh, and she's now working undercover for an organization that I do want to discuss with you. But she's she's very instinctual, and yet she kind of ruffles the feathers of the authority figures that she works with. Well, that's probably because she's a little bit like me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> authority figures have always ruffled my feathers a little bit. 
um, I guess because I feel like I know what I'm doing and, and, you know, I don't need somebody to tell me what to do, which is not the best attitude to have in the work world. But I think Fia is, is like that. And Fia also, because her father uh, was murdered at um, Pimlico and the case was never solved, she has a little flame of anger inside of her yes. because uh, unresolved murder so that has made her a little more hot-headed than she might have been otherwise. And, and also, not to mention the fact that her mother uh, walked out on her when she was young and, and left the family for an older, uh, much, much wealthier man. So she has some, shall we say, issues. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of kind of familial dirty laundry circulating through this book. Her, her relationship with her brother and his daughter is a little bit fraught, isn't it? It is, um, but I think by the end of the book, um, they do come to some agreements. And I think the reason that her relationship is so fraught with her young niece, who she had not seen for a very long time, um, and now um, Jilly is her name. Jilly is 15, and Jilly is so much like Fia. I mean, it's ridiculous. And there's nothing like, you know, payback is hell, right? Meeting yourself <laughs> when you were young. It's, it's tough. So I think that's, that's some of it. Okay, so now I want to get into the, the TRPB because I, I didn't know, quite frankly, that such an organization existed. This is the Thoroughbred Racing Protective Bureau. And when FIA yeah. runs afoul of the, the powers that be in Baltimore, She's given the opportunity to work undercover for this organization. Tell our viewers a little bit about the TRPB, what their purview is, and, and what they do. Well, the Thoroughbred Racing Protective Bureau is a national organization. Um, their mission is to protect the integrity of horse racing, um, which, because of all the huge uh, amount of gambling money involved, is not an easy thing to do. And... Um, they had told me that they don't put agents in place as often as they used to. They're more taking over the betting world, and, and they have a supercomputer uh, right in-house in Fairhill, Maryland, where, where the main office is. And they are constantly watching and monitoring um, the betting, uh, both uh, in the United States, offshore accounts, um, looking for anomalies, uh, for red flags to pop up that would show you that some horse or some trainer, perhaps, is winning many more races than he should, or some favorite suddenly ran a poor race, and that other trainer's favorite also ran a poor race. Then they look at those. I mean, that's something, it's a sign that something could be going on, some illegal activity could take place. And that, and that, I'm sure that... The, Go ahead. Well, that, that kind of leads me to another question I wanted to ask, or actually it's just another uh, observation about the book. Y your, your bad guy in this book, and I don't want to give too much away because I know that some of our, our viewers will want to pick this up and read it. The, the uber bad guy in this book, I think you've tapped into sort of a, a phobia among many of us who handicap and bet on thoroughbred horse races which is to say that this guy has come up with a as yet undetectable performance enhancing drug. That was, that was a pretty shrewd thing of you to slide in there because it really does get to a, a group fear that we have. Yeah, that is the fear that it's undetectable. Um, and this, of course, is based on what happened with the drug demorphin, um, which is up to 100 times stronger than morphine. Um, and that, um, and I actually was so lucky as to talk to the fellow um, out in Oklahoma um, who's a pharmacologist and who found um, the drug and managed to come up with a test for it. Um, so I thought, well, gosh, what about if there was something similar, some other enzyme that came back off the back of a different species of tree frog that had this, this drug in it? And it was as yet undetectable, and they got a hold of it. So that's, that was kind of the basis for, for how the, the drug thing worked. We're chatting with author Sasser Hill, whose novel Flamingo Road is one of three finalists for the 2017 Dr. Tony Ryan Award. All right, Gulfstream Park and a lot of familiar Florida geography working through Flamingo Road. 
The dark side of town takes you to Saratoga. How much in-person research do you have to do before you sit down to write one of these things? Well, I've spent a lot of time um, at Gulfstream Park, um, and I've been up to Saratoga quite a few times. Um, I was up there just last summer. I was at the races. I did some book signings at a couple of stores, and I'll be up there again this summer. So it really helps. And if the dark side of town continues your success, and if you are fortunate enough to be the, the Dr. Tony Ryan Book Award winner, where will Thea McKee end up after Saratoga? Santa Anita. Okay. Now you're, now you're talking. Yeah. And, if, and if you need a, a local guide, I'd be happy to, uh, to step up and help with that. Oh, well, I will keep that in mind. I did go out to Santa Anita already, and they took me all around and showed me where um, HBO had filmed and how they managed to, to um, keep the crew from HBO from overtaking the track. So that was interesting, and I learned a lot. All right, author Sasser Hill has been chatting with us. Sasser, best of luck. I know that the, the finalist, the, the winner of the award, will be announced one week from this coming Thursday. So best of luck. We're rooting for you. The novel was a really good read. I recommend it highly to all of our viewers out there. And again, our appreciation for taking a couple minutes with us here on Television Games. That's great. Rich, thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, that's Sasser Hill. Yeah, Flamingo Road, excellent. And the thing was, I knew that The Dark Side of Town was the, the more recent of the two novels. So I actually, I actually started reading that one first. I thought maybe that was the one that was nominated. So I got a couple of chapters into that one and then backtracked and read Flamingo Road. And Flamingo Road was excellent, and I look forward to getting back to the dark side of town. So check it out. Check it out. If you're a fan of mystery novels and mystery novels with horse racing themes, there you go. That's your next read.